This is a model of the ultrastructure of a budding yeast cell, such as brewer's or baker's yeast, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It was produced using a 3D printer. You can clearly see the scars on the cell wall left by previous buds. This process is, is asexual. Yeast cells do produce sexually as well, but usually under, under conditions of environmental stress. The cell wall is made of different carbohydrates than you find in plant cells. However, in both cases, the, the cell wall is freely permeable. Animal cells don't possess a cell wall at all. Yeast of great commercial interest for their involvement in brewing, baking, and the production of cheese and yogurts and so on. Because of this, their ultrastructure is very well known. Yeast have eukaryotic cells, that is, they are more advanced in their ultrastructure. This makes them different from such things as bacteria and viruses. In particular, they have a well defined nucleus, the nuclear membrane. The small oval structures with snake-like curves within them are the mitochondria. These are examples of the cell organelles. They are the powerhouses of the cell, producing large amounts of energy when oxygen is present. In the absence of oxygen, alcohol is produced instead and only a small amount of energy. The finger-like structures with branching tips are the mitotic spindles. The branching tips are the chromosomes. What is happening here is the cell is dividing and making exact copies of the DNA within the chromosomes for both of the new cells that are formed during the budding process. The envelope that surrounds it is the nuclear membrane. Also very prominent in the cytoplasm of the cell are these a system of flattened sacs and tubes. This is the Golgi apparatus and the endoplasmic reticulum. These structures are involved in the synthesis of proteins and also the construction of proteins and their export.